Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Tron this time and why it might moon even more than it has now, especially when the market starts going up. Everyone knows DeFi is the hot thing, right? If you look at uh, coins like Cardano, VeChain, they're going down more uh, when coins go down. They don't rise as much when uh, coins go up because they haven't gotten into the DeFi game. Sonny Lewis said we're going to get into the DeFi game, but I don't really think he's concentrating on it. He's sticking to his uh, old plan of just like logistics and getting enterprise adoption, which is fine. But it's just that he'll miss on some of the DeFi price increases and DeFi craze. Uh, Charles Hawkinson wants to get into DeFi, but he needs Gogan first, and that's not scheduled to launch until the end of the year. So because those two aren't in DeFi right now, it might miss some of this temporary pump because DeFi projects are all the craze. Tron is different. It has a network. It has smart contracts. And even though I don't like Justin Sun because of all the antics he pulls, and I don't think he's a good CEO, he has actually brought Tron into the DeFi forefront, and he wants to challenge Ethereum. Now, do I trust Tron as much as Ethereum? No, yeah, probably not. But here's the thing. That trust might start to win in Ethereum because Uniswap fees are so ridiculous. Ethereum fees has increased 600% in the last month or so. And a, swap, a trade on Uniswap can mean 50 bucks. So DeFi on uh, Ethereum is really not accessible for a lot of people because of the high Uniswap fees. Tron does not have that problem. Tron can handle a lot more transactions per second than Uniswap. Um, they've shown that with their like crappy little gambling apps, which actually a lot of people actually do use, to be fair. So despite the antics that Justin Sun pulls, Tron actually might be a pretty good investment, especially because they they made a decent splash into DeFi and they are one of the networks that can clasp onto it right now. I mean, they basically made their Sun token um, and they've, they're they challenging Uniswap with JustSwap. Justin Sun names everything after him. I'm not a huge fan of that, but whatever. I don't really care what the name is as long as it works and it doesn't cost 50 freaking dollars per transaction, which it doesn't. Um, the Sun token has garnered over 5 billion Tron in less than, in like the one or two days after launch. 5 billion Tron, I believe, is like almost $200 million at this point. So you might think that's a lot uh, for people to stake on Tron, but if you think like, if you think that, look at how much like sushi or spaghetti or hot dog that went bust or pizza rolls or whatever the hell it got. Tron's not that bad when you compare it to those things. So therefore, it actually, I think, is a legitimate or is one of the more legitimate DeFi projects because most of them are just trash and people invest in them anyways. So I don't think like the dislike of Justin Sun will actually prevent people from getting into Tron DeFi as they realize Ethereum's DeFi is way, way too expensive for most people to actually participate in. They will look for other substitutes and Tron is one place they will go. It might actually be one of the only places they go because they're actually a live network with a building DeFi ecosystem. And I think some developers are going to come over to Tron for the DeFi projects. Now, when DeFi, the bubble, uh, the DeFi bubble finally bursts, will it hurt Tron? Of course it will. But we don't really know when that's going to happen. My guess is that even if we have a crash right now, it'll bounce right back up very quickly. And I think like DeFi honestly isn't really going to crash until like next year sometime. I think it'll drag on. It'll be like the ICO thing. It'll drag on for quite a while. And it's the hot new thing for the next couple of months until regulation kicks its ass. Um, but right now, that's why I think Tron might actually moon more than it can. I mean, it's at like, you know, three, four cents. It could easily go to 10 or 20 cents off of the DeFi hype, especially if people start locking a lot of money into the Tron ecosystem for DeFi. That's always possible. You might want to give Tron a look if you have some extra money and you want some like decent gains. Um, you know, Tron's volatile. It could go the other way as well. But right now, Anything DeFi is like making money. And if Tron goes DeFi and then we have a bull market, it could rise up by a lot. Me personally, I have 1500 Tron uh, based on donations and I don't really plan to buy any more Tron, but Tron is not a bad investment uh, for the short term because of DeFi. Yes, it has pumped a lot, but I think DeFi could pump it even more because people are going stupid crazy over DeFi right now. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you. Have a nice day.